Hello, I'm going to be reviewing the new Trent Airbender Mini. This case works with the iPad Mini and the iPad Mini with Retina Display as it says right on the box. I will be using this with my iPad Mini with Retina Display. This case included two components. On my left, the keyboard and stand is shown, and on my right, the actual case on the iPad Mini is shown. The keyboard attachment connects very easily via Bluetooth, so it's very easy to set up and use. I was able to do it in a matter of a minute. It does come with a charging cable to charge it. Right here there's a little flap, there's a micro USB port right there to use with the charging cable. And I have charged it once since I got it and it has not died over use. It lasts a good, great amount of time. While connecting this case via Bluetooth, all you have to do is turn it on and then go to Bluetooth on your iPad and hit connect. And then your iPad will discover this keyboard. This case is not 100% waterproof, but it is water resistant. For every port, you know, right here for that switch, there's a flap. Up on the audio jack, there's a flap. And down on the bottom for the charger, there's a flap. So, your iPad. In this case, it, it can take splashes, a little bit of water, but I wouldn't put it under water, obviously, because, you know, the microphones here are exposed. I have not yet found a con with this case. It is very solid, and it works perfectly with my iPad Mini. Where this case exposes the Apple logo on the back, not only does it look cool with the Apple logo showing, but also... Right here in this circle is where conveniently the keyboard attachment attaches. On the keyboard, there's this circle. You pinch these two in, and it goes right on. Another feature I love about this case is that this stand, it rotates 360 degrees all the way around so you can look at your iPad this way you can right here with the metal just pull it right out and adjust it different ways around the back you can lean this inward all the way till it's closed you can pull it up like this nice little stand for watching a movie or something and then also all the way around you can put it right in that there's a little groove right here and you can rest it right in there and use it like a laptop. I use my device for personal use. So I'm really going to find myself using it without the keyboard attachment quite often. The reason for this is because the, t the typing I do on my iPad is more like just, you know, browsing the web and texting. The best use I could find for the keyboard attachment is if you like to do word processing, spreadsheets, or PowerPoints on your iPad because recently Apple added free pages, numbers, and Keynote whenever you buy an iPad so you can do all this on your iPad. That would probably be the best use for this keyboard attachment that I can find. I really like the keyboard attachment just personally for my personal uses I won't be using it as much. Like I said before, this case is really solid. All for obvious reasons, I'm not going to do a drop test with this case. However, I feel like it could really withstand a, a drop. Also, I really like about this case that it is so sturdy. Because for my personal uses, I bring my iPad many, many places with me. So, whenever I go to, you know, in somewhere in the car, using this in the car, or using it at a, uh, you know coffee shop, or friend's house, even at home, carrying this around with me, I really feel like this solid protective case can withstand a drop. Now even though this case is very solid, it's not too thick to the point where you're not going to want to have it on your iPad, because I know the thinness of, you know, iPhones, iPads, tablets these days, people really like the, how thin they are. So you're not going to want the case to add too much bulk. Right here you can see, right here I have an iPhone 4S. And then I have the iPad mini with the new Trent case on it. 
and it's really not all that much. It's probably a couple millimeters thicker than the iPhone. So I really don't think it's too bulky. It's really nice. With the keyboard attachment on this case, it obviously is a lot thicker, but still, the size overall of this case really is not bad. I would carry this many places with me because it's still light and very small. It's about the width thickness of a laptop. I really like the look of this case. Right on the front in Chrome, it is written New Trent with the New Trent logo, right on where it connects the keyboard case to the actual iPad case. On the front, it also says New Trent, and it looks really good. I really like the design of this case. Now, this keyboard attachment really is a great feature. However, it's not for everyone. So I would highly recommend for New Trent to sell this nice, solid iPad mini case without the keyboard. Because then it would give the buyers more options. Because the keyboard, like I said, is great, except it's not always the most useful. This case, however, is still great. This case is probably one of the best iPad mini cases I've ever seen. I have just heard of New Trend, but I'm already impressed with this one product. I really hope they keep it up making great products for me to use in the future. The only con I found with this product is nothing. It is a wonderful product. Overall, I would have to give this Airbender Mini case a 5 out of 5. Good job, New Trent. And I would have to recommend it to anyone who is looking for a case for their iPad Mini. It is a really great case.